Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to activate AMD Expo. Um, technically I've already done a, another video on this uh, a few months back now uh, that was just titled, I think it was how to activate XMP. Um, but I had a couple of people commenting saying why did I use XMP over Expo, so on and so forth. So I thought I'd do another video, um, primarily talking about Expo, but I will include XMP in there as well. For those of you that don't know, XMP is Intel's sort of RAM overclocking sort of technology. Expo is what AMD systems use. Um, you can activate XMP on um, RAM in an AMD system. I have done it. It's not stable, though. It has caused me to have a blue screen. Um, so to start, what I will do is I will show you how to find your find out what speed your RAM's running at. So basically, if you go down to your taskbar, you right click and you click Task Manager. And then in the task manager at the side here, go to performance. And then on here, go to memory. And then at the bottom, you'll see two or four dim slots used and we're at 6,000 mega transfers per second. Now, even if you buy 6,000 mega transfer RAM, it won't run out of the box at 6,000 mega transfers. I think it runs out of the box at 4,500, 4,400 um something like that um so you basically have to go into the bios and activate xmp or expo depending on whether you're on intel or amd so <clears throat> i'll show you obviously us doing that quickly so basically what you want to do is restart your pc and then for your, those of you that don't know how to get into your bios and um, you just wait until like the screen pops up for me saying ASRock because I'm using an ASRock motherboard and you just hit the delete key on your keyboard. Um, you'll see it when it comes up in a second though. So we get no signal, then we should get ASRock. Yep, there we go. So at the bottom, it didn't actually say it then. But yeah, you basically hit the delete key. I think it's delete or F11. Okay, apparently I missed it because my computer loads that stupidly quick, but <clears throat> let me just restart it again. I'll keep it I'll keep it looking at the bottom of the screen so you can see it. <clears throat> Alright, so we are restarting. You might hear me mashing the delete key. There you go, you can see it in the bottom there. Press F2 or delete so we'll get into the BIOS. Press F11 for the boot menu. So this is our BIOS off our B650 Live Mixer. Uh, obviously it shows you there what CPU you've got and your RAM. But as you can see there, it says DDR5 4800, 16 gig at 6,000 megahertz. 4800 is what my RAM runs out of the box. Now the RAM I'm using is... Um, T Force by Team Group, T Force Delta. Um, I'll just show you it quickly. It's there. Um, so, yeah, basically, in your BIOS at the top, you'll see something called OC Tweaker. Might be renamed something else on other motherboards, you know, motherboard manufacturers are like. Basically, click on that, and then you'll see don't touch DRAM frequency here. And I go down to DRAM profile configuration. DRAM profile setting, click on that. Now the standard one will be this here, so 4800 with 40, 40, 40, 77 timings. If you're on Intel, select the XMP profile with the highest speed. It will also have the better timings as well. And then if you're on AMD, go for the Expo one with the highest speed and the better timings. So if you want Intel, go XMP 16,000, 38, 38, 38, 78. 
and obviously slightly higher voltage. If you're on AMD, go Expo 6000, 38, 38, 38, 78 at the same voltage. So basically what you would do is you would scroll down to that. Obviously mine's already set to it, but you would hit enter. And as you can see, it's selected at the top. Then you just go to exit, save changes and exit. When you do it, it might bring up a bigger box here with a list in it. That's just telling you what it's changed to get XMP or Expo sort of running. Hit yes, and the system will restart. You might find it takes a few seconds longer to restart this time because it has to redo all the sort of timings when it restarts the board. It has to has to do the RAM training. Um, obviously, mine's restarted straight away because I already set a lot. <clears throat> But yeah, that's a basic rundown on how to activate your XMP or Expo profiles. Like I said, just to run you through it again, what you would do now to check is right click on your taskbar, go to Task Manager, go to Performance, click Memory. And then down in the bottom there, two or four dim slots, 6,000 megajoules per second. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's just a basic sort of guide on how to activate XMP or Expo profiles. Um, if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a comment down below. Um, and if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, please do so. Uh, like I've said in previous videos, we're on track hours wise to be monetized this year. We're just a bit short on subscribers now, basically. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, please do. Thanks all for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video.